three, four, no. Four, three, two. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday with Gracie Shack, and she'll be painting a uh, bumblebee. Yeah. I hope that's all right with everybody. Um, <laughs> I just thought it was a good idea, you know. Oh, and then she's painting on round paper. I've never seen what round watercolor paper before, so that's that's cool. Yeah, that that was really really fun idea. I've got this cable that's never a problem, but whenever I come to do any filming of any kind, it it, it sort of pops. It, you can see this cable. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to mask. It. I, I might have to put duct tape on it or something. Well, there's some, you mean you don't like it because of the way it looks or something? Well, it's just kind of in the way. I'm going to have oh, to I rethink can't see that. It. It's in the dark. It's in the yeah. dark part of your... Oh, I don't, no, I don't see. I don't this, see is, it. This, is my, uh, this is my new painting board. This, you see this black, this black board here? Yeah. Uh, this is just like a temporary till I get a proper thing to... Uh, I've seen something on Amazon. There's... Um, an acrylic painting board and it's made out of hard plastic and it's about a3 um, and it's a clear one so i'm gonna i'm gonna get that eventually uh, for like a protection like a cover for the art table i mm. mean yeah i mean it's no biggie if you spill paint i mean acrylics and watercolors comes off quite well don't they if you spin it oh, not, not necessarily acrylics if they oh. dry they can it depends what surface they can be permanent oh i did not know that yes if you get acrylic on your clothes and it dries that's permanent oh i did not know that oh there you go so uh, i got a cereal bowl and then i drew around the edges to get the perfect circle um so that's, should i just start doing cutting yeah, it? Oh, we have somebody in the chat let's see hello guys. well hi oh hi Gaswina. Hi, Gazwina. Thank you for coming to my stream earlier, Gazwina. Much appreciated. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming to my stream this morning, too. Yeah. There's my little setup there, guys. So um, you need two pots of water, recycle jars. You put them in the dishwasher, and then you can. they're good to go. Um if it's kids painting, I wouldn't recommend glass jars for obvious safety reasons. Um, but you could use you know, use any plastic container that you know that's going to hold a lot of water. And you need two, one for dirty and one for clean. I can't stress that enough when it comes to beginners. You need two pots of water. So. Okay, I don't do that. I should. <laughs> you rebel. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to draw a round piece of paper. This is um, cheap, inexpensive, but very, very nice. Um, I don't want to use it on my posh paper. So this is the Canson brand, uh, Montval, I think that's called. Um, it's 270 grams. So for you guys in America, that's 125 pounds. Uh, but in England, we say 270 grams. Uh, and it's cold press, which means there's a bit of a texture to it. Um, you could use, uh, you can use uh, alcoholic, alcoholic, <laughs> alcohol inks, um, watercolor pencils, and acrylic and watercolor on this on this brand of paper. So you don't really want to use your arches for this one. Um, you know, it, it would be a bit silly to use something expensive for this so i'm just gonna how how's everything looking diana can you see everything i can see not not little not a little bit like the bottom inch i can't see your paper the bottom inch but and you have like three inches of room at the top that's yeah that's better ah there you go that's a bit better isn't it i might put these out the way there's all these little things, guys, when you're filming. People don't realise, do they, Diana? That, you know, that there's a lot of work involved in, in just setting I know. up. I, it goes with the territory. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can. Hello, everybody in the chat. So you got two uh, pots of water, 
tissues, kitchen roll tissues, because we're going to need them for mistakes and stuff. Paint brushes, I'm just going to use a few. I'm not going to go crazy with paint brushes because it's a small project anyway. So I'm just trying to find my thin brush. I want to make an announcement. I'm I'm not going to keep saying hello to people when they come in the room because it's uh, disruptive. I'm just going to type it in the chat, except if it's going to be Mystic Unigon. She's the only one I will verbally say it out loud because she's in her car and she can't. she won't be able to read. She'll only hear it. Everybody else, I will only be typing hello to you in the chat and maybe even come. I mean, um, when people come in the room, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. There we go. Well, don't sit there on an angle. No, then. First things first, we're going to draw the circle. I use the cereal bowl um, to get the perfect to get the perfect circle. Got scissors, need scissors. If this, if a child's doing this, please uh, have an adult with them whilst they're cutting um, cutting the uh, the paper, or let a grown up do it. Either way, um, where's my pencil? I'm just going to draw around the edges of this to get that circle. Just drawing around the edges of the circle. I think um, anything on uh, round paper, I think it would be really beneficial for botanical artists to have that option because I think things like flowers, butterflies, you know, plants, I think it would look nice on a round watercolour paper block. Yeah, I think botanicals look really nice on round. Yeah, for some reason I, I think it would look really good. Mm, I'll try and cover the brightness of that book because it is kind of a bright book there. I'm just going to round it off here. And you can see my lines there, so that's good. So that's, just check that. Yep, that's good, right. Good, 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 good. So, and that's my Arches paper, but I'm not going to be using that today. A bit too posh for that. So what am I going to do next? So we're going to be painting a bumblebee and I hope that's all right with everybody. <laughs> I'll be painting the uh, the waterfall part two next week. What am I going to do first Diana? Um, I'm going to draw in the eye. I'll just keep looking at my reference picture because it's on the right hand side. There we go. I've dragged my picture across so I can see it more. So I'm going to do the eye first. Well, Ian says you're a paper snob. Oh, am I? <laughs> oh, I try not to be. I think I I think he is. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I've done some really nice pieces on this one, and, and this one's really nice. And it this was actually Ian. This was only um, three pounds in the UK and no postage on Amazon. I mean, I mean that's a cracking deal, and it's it's quite a thick paper too. It, it's nice, and it doesn't buckle much. The cats and band. I'm just going to fill in the areas where the black hairs are because I want them to, uh, they look kind of fuzzy, some of the hairs. And then of course we got the wing. And they're kind of transparent, the wings. And um, just think in terms of basic shapes when you're drawing things. <laughs> It's like I'm teaching school, Diana. 
Yes, that is what it can be like. Yeah. Now these are cool. These little erasers. These are erasers. This is a Faber Castell one. It's a kneadable eraser, and it's very, very good for you to protect your watercolor paper. But they're a wee bit tricky to open. Oh, I did it! Yeah. It looks like clay, but it isn't. It's a kneadable eraser, so and it makes it very gentle on the texture of the paper. And and you got this nice little case to keep it in and that's Faber Castell and that's what it looks like so I'm just gonna erase anything I don't want and you just wiggle it around to erase whatever you don't need there you go look and it doesn't you know it doesn't cause the paper any damage so that's always a plus so I'm gonna well, we have a question. Ian says, how much does it need? I don't know what he's talking about. I wasn't following. How Maybe. much? How much? How much does it need? Uh, oh, I'm not sure what he's talking about. Sorry, Ian. That one does not question. We don't know what you mean, Ian. Sorry, Ian. Can you guys see the lines? I think I've got that pretty good. Yes, yes, can. Good. I know some people don't like these, and so I, I can understand that. I can understand that. And this wing's a little bit smaller because it's coming off a different, you know, because he's crack, he, he's going up that way, up the flower, um, so that's how his body is. His little body there and then the wing the big wings coming off there and then he because he's walking upwards you already get to see the very side of his, of his second wing so they are kind of cute little uh little things but i don't know do they sting does anybody know if they sting well i think bumblebees do not sting unless somebody wants to correct me in the chat i do not believe bumblebees sting and then we have a question from chrissy what weight is the paper Oh, good question. Hello, Chrissy. Um, let me see. Um, the paper weight, Chrissy, is 270 grams. Um, so that's not quite as heavy as, say, 300 grams, which is 140 pounds in weight. But um, so far, I, I haven't had much buckling with this one. Um, and, and the Canson brand, from my understanding, are the ones that I've used. They're pretty good. They're pretty good for not buckling. So, yeah. Which is what you want in a watercolour paper, really. So, I'm just doing these little legs. <laughs> they got funny little legs. There you go. That's his little leg. And then it kind of sticks outwards a bit. Oh, do I need to make that second wing a bit bigger? I might make that wing a little bit bigger. Would Would you like to know who's in here? Yes, please. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, yeah, that's right. I should tell you. Okay, I let's say roll call. Gaslina. Ian. Picky Bell, who's a new friend. I, I went to his game night, Um, him and his wife's game night the other mm -hmm. night. Chrissy, Canvas Art, and that's it. Hello, guys. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, how some streams are busy and others are kind of... <laughs> and some streams get busier. They might be slow at the start. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That's the nature of being a live streamer. Yeah. Okay, another question. Is it cold press? It is cold press, yep. Yeah. And cold press, for those who don't know, it, if you use the pads of your fingers just to gently touch it, uh, you can feel a bit of a, what we call a tooth to the paper, so it's a little bit bumpy. But it's perfect for, um, you know, for anything where you want a bit of extra texture. And you can feel it with, your, with the pads of your fingers, just a little bumpy, a bumpy feel to the paper, so. Now he's looking like a bee. <laughs> so I'm just going to draw in the body shape, just so I have a guide 
of how big this bee is going to be because they're quite big aren't they bumblebees for the size of them I yes mean. they're fat they're i mean they're plump they're fat but they're <laughs> yes they're big and round do they have they have antennas don't they i think i'm not sure oh well i'll put one in i think i can see i don't know i might not actually no you i'm not going to do that it. you could put them in no i'll see i'll see how it looks at the end okay what brand are you using what's that which brand paper yes uh canson canson monthal it's uh it's widely available you can get it most places canson monthal i think that's how i pronounce that and uh yeah it can take watercolor uh acrylics uh watercolor pencils you could use the derwent ink tense pencils on here too um so yeah it's pretty good paper i like it and it's not too pricey either which is always a which is always a good thing <laughs> i'm just going to make sure i've got everything all all in order uh could we vote sometime today what i'm going to be painting next week diana yes mm -hmm. i think i think i'd like to do that then i get an idea you know and i have an idea of what we can think of can you think of anything at the minute or can i think of what can you, can you help me think of something to paint well oh, you have no you have no ideas for what we should vote on uh, i've got a basic idea uh let me see what was it i was thinking of uh, you might just throw it out to the chat first like who has an idea and see what yeah. the ideas are yeah that would be that would be perfect yeah. okay we're throwing it out to the chat uh put in put in ideas for what you'd like to see gracie paint next week and then and then we're probably going to vote on it yeah that's a really good idea and it's kind of fun because it's kind of fun to see what people think you know what, what people would like to see now do i draw the flowers on or do i paint them in well i'll get the b first done and then uh, see i'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna cut this circle out now so i'm just gonna take it gently <laughs> and it's really really easy to get out of the pad it's really easy it's no problem so i'm just gonna cut around the uh, round the circle Okay, Goswina has a comment. She says, Gracie, you can use a glass panel and paint the background with black. This is, oh. what, this is what I say. I'm just going to turn the volume up because I, unless it's me. Sorry, can you say that again, Diane? Okay. Um, Goswina says, Gracie, you can use a glass panel and paint the background with black oh that's a good idea thank you Gizmina. there we go nice it, it's such a fun shape um uh, i think round uh watercolor blocks have only just come out so they're still very new so i don't i think Lindsay wyrick's done a couple of tutorials using the uh using the round watercolor blocks Thank you guys for popping in the chat. People are, I'm waiting for people just to complete saying what they want, why the list is complete of their ideas. Yeah. That's as near a circle as I'm going to get. <laughs> well, I'm not quite as anxious as I was last time when I was painted. <laughs> that's good now then this is what i'm going to do next now to create that that the hair on the on the bee i use cocktail sticks and um, to drag up the tiny little hairs and it's a really neat trick um just just regular the cocktail sticks and then i'll get my colors sorted next no where is my palette this is my sennelier palette and this is all professional grade 
artist grade paints. You can use whatever brand you like, it doesn't matter. We'll be using lemon yellow, sap green, and um, doo -doo -doo -doo, and uh, a sort of yellowy orangey for the flower. So I'm going to activate the paint by putting water on it. Get my water, my jug of water. And I'm going to dab it in. Oh, you want to hear some of the list now? Yeah, sure. Okay, hold on. Horse, a beer buzzard. <laughs> there's some buzzard baits in here. <laughs> Flip flops on a beach. Rabbit. Yeah. Uh, that's all so far. Oh no, a buzzard flying over your channels. That sounds. I, I'm pretty good at birds. I'd like that. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. That would be cool. Or I could do an eagle. I've done an eagle, guys, and it looked really nice. Would you like to see me paint an eagle? And it looked, I'll, I'll share it with Ian and Diana. And um, I'd like to see you paint a buzzard. A buzzard, yeah. Okay, yeah. Should we, should we get them to vote? <laughs> well, I don't know. I think you should just pick what you want. A buzzard. There we go. I'll do a buzzard. Yeah. Oops. Why is it I always drop when I'm on camera? Okay, so I'm going to go in with a new brush that I've got, and it's Winsor & Newton. Um, I don't think you can see the writing on there. Winsor & Newton Foundation uh, paint brushes. Uh, and that was lemon yellow. No, tell the light, that was cadmium yellow. Get it right, woman. So I'm just going to pop my little palette there, and that's a Royal and Nan Nickel uh, watercolor palette. And um, where's my eraser? I'm just going to wiggle this around to get rid of those lines that I don't want. Or a heron. Gosweena says a heron. Oh, I'd like to paint a heron. That would be cool. Good idea. Should we say heron then? That sounds good to me. Ah, uh, well. So you put everybody in. has their own idea. I don't. I don't know if a vote would work. Well, this is it. Does the chat think we should vote? I'm asking the chat. Should we, should we take a vote? Yeah, that's a good question. So I'm just scribbling the paint onto the onto the stick, the cocktail stick, and then I'm going to pop that there. It's nowhere to put everything as well. I've only got a small amount of space to to put everything. And then I'm going to go in. Oh, um, Ian says, tell everybody about your new fan brushes. Uh, I would do, but that means I'll have to go and get them out of the, and I don't want to leave it, but I, I will do, Ian. Um, I'll share some pictures on the, on, um, on my Facebook. Um, yeah, I got a pack of the Royal and Nan Nickel fan brushes, because I needed some fan brushes, and I haven't really used them before, so that was interesting. What was the name? What was the name of that um, the Royal and Nan Nickel uh, paintbrush that Mr. Jackson was using the other day? Um, I don't know. That's a question for Ian. Yeah, um, really. Let me just ask you a question, Ian. Uh, was it Soft Grip by Royal and Nan Nickel? I think that seems to ring a bell. I don't know if you guys can see me actually do this. What you do is you dip it in the paint. Make sure you've got water because it'll only activate the paint if you put water on it. And then you just. A bit like the credit card scraper technique. It's very similar. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then if you see those lines, look. See those tiny little lines there? Makes it look really natural. 
He answered yes. Ah, good. Yeah, they're good brushes, though. And they don't, um, they don't shed the hairs much either. It's unusual to be this quiet normally. Well, I'm trying to be quiet. Oh. So I don't interrupt you. No, you're fine. I'd rather you talked. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd, I'd rather hear somebody talking. Okay. Yes, please talk, Diana. I think we can't take a vote because each person had their own idea. So I don't, I, they're talking, I think Heron, people are liking the idea of Heron. Well, Heron it is. There we go. So this is my other palette. This is my other Sennelier palette. And uh, aren't they glorious colours, the Sennelier? Um, mm. I'm, just, I'm just bringing up the black into my little well here. Not well, palette rather. And I'm getting quite a lot of it because there's a lot of black in the bee. So you need a fair amount. And then I'm going to pop that down over here. Chrissy said she painted a heron a while ago and said it was cool. Cool, Chrissy. I will watch that video. Does Chrissy want to put a link in the video, in the uh, in the chat? That would be cool. Oh, and then you'll come back on the replay and, get, and catch the link? Yeah. But only well, if I... Chrissy, why don't you put a link in the chat for that? Well, if you if you can, um, I mean, for the yeah. Heron painting tutorial. If, if you yeah. did, if it was a tutorial, that would be awesome. But only if you want to. Don't don't. You know, it's just it, it would be handy to have that link. I think Erin's are nice. I'm just putting the solid color down because there's a bit of solid color in the bee. Oh, Chrissy has to go. She says her dinner's ready. Happy painting. Bye for now. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. That's okay. Oh, bye, bye, Chrissy. Bye, Chrissy. Yeah, it's kind of dinner time here for most of us. Yep. Except for you, you always eat dinner early, right? I do, yeah. <laughs> I do. Just trying she to get says she will uh, give you the give the link if if we're still here after she eats. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. So I'm just going in with my and just doing some stroking type movements there. Yeah, maybe maybe if I choose a heron or something that's kind of really detailed, so it can take the time up. Um, it might appeal to more people, maybe. If you do what? If I if I do a if I do a slightly more complicated painting, it, it might be a bit more interesting, maybe. But you know, I mean, botanicals are very interesting. You know, there's a lot of people that like botanical paintings, aren't there? Mm -hmm. A lot well, of you have you have done like uh, complex paintings, like the city, like you can. Ch that's why you're changing it out. Like you, yeah. the, the skyline, the city skyline was that's a complex painting. That waterfall was kind of complex and. Oh, you've done a bunch of you so it's not like all it's not it's not like you did a whole bunch of all simple paintings that's true that's true yeah this will be like a holiday painting this oh ian got the link he got chrissy's hair and painting link thanks thanks, thanks ian thanks ian oh he looks like a bee now <laughs> There he is. I don't think for me to copy the link and um wait I can copy the link and put it in your instant messenger. That would be awesome, thank you. Okay, let's see. Here we go. A great blue hair and acrylic painting demonstration. Okay, I'm I, okay. I'm, hold on, let's uh, share. Copy the link. Very kind of you guys, thank you. 
how do you like my palette there mr jackson it's a whole bind palette but i think it's their student grade version because that's what i think you said wasn't it um because it's got the whole bind logo there i think this is enamel um and i, I quite like these um they're nice sizes aren't they and, and, and they're not too they're not too heavy and they're not too light they're just and i think this is enamel um on the uh i think this is uh 30 wells i think and i think it's nice like mr jackson always says if you can use um limited amount of colors you don't want too many colors but, you know just enough so i'm just mixing up some gray here this is gray from an earlier painting that i did so and this is a royal and nan nickel uh paint brush it's a little bit like a liner brush and it's the zen series and this was really cheap this was four pounds as a single as a single paint brush and i think this might be their professional line but i wouldn't quote me on that one i'm not altogether sure i think it's their professional oh ian says cool oh cool yeah it is cool and it does like really nice it does super fine lines with the with the uh with the brush because there's an awful lot of black in this in in this particular piece mm. and some artists in the watercolor world they don't like using um you know black or white in the watercolor world yeah a lot of artists don't like oh, you even in regular art, other artists too there's a, oh i've never heard i've never heard of artists saying they don't want to use white but i've heard many artists saying they don't like using straight black yeah i don't understand why though i can't well i think no one 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 reason that i heard somebody say which made sense to me an artist she said black is so flat it doesn't really have depth to it so she likes to mm -hmm. add like a violet or a blue or something in there and, and she had said it actually gives the black more depth yeah that's true yeah i can i can usually usually see both sides to you know to things that people you know people might not like it and then they'll go oh well i can understand that yeah everybody's different i guess mm -hmm. just put in a little bit aren't they bright colors uh ian the sennelier mm -hmm. they're really bright vibrant colors look at that yellow <laughs> looks like a lemon well, yellow. it's not gonna fade much it's not gonna like like what they say when it dries it gets lighter yeah yeah so you want you want you know if you've got a really nice vibrant color then that's 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 really good i'm going to put in some more of those little hairs down here you see i'm really comfortable painting this diana i'm not well that's good instead of being like <laughs> having having like you know, like your back i mean being yeah. uh, nervous oh i was petrified last week that's been several weeks in a row. I know. I know. So it's nice to have doing a painting that you feel comfortable. I know. Yeah. It's not fun, is it, when you feel like that? It's just it's overwhelming. I mean, I know this might be a bit tedious for some people, this particular piece, but I thought with us being all in isolation, uh, doing something slightly crafty as well, like making your own circular paper and you can turn it into a block you can watch a lindsay wyrick video and she teaches you how to make your own blocks uh, you know it's nice to be crafty too um uh, how to know, make your own what um she did a tutorial on how to make your own so you know round watercolor paper blocks oh, okay diy ones um and i'm quite going to do that no, yeah. please. I would never want to do that. It would just turn out like a disaster. So I hear you. Yeah, mine did the first yeah, time. Like I... Pre-made circle round paper. Yeah. You can buy it. I mean, it's not that expensive. I think it was about nine pounds. Mm -hmm. so I made one. So you know, that's not too bad. Right then, Gracie. I think I'm going to do the flower, and the flower comes in this direction. So I'm going to put the flower sort of in a funny. In a funny shape here because he's sort of he's sort of climbing you know he's a happy little buzzy bee 
Yeah, it's beginning to look more bee like now. And we have somebody. Well, I, I gave you roll call, but we have a new person in the room. One Mighty R. He's a friend of mine. He he creates his own um, comic characters. He works pen and ink mostly. Awesome. Hello there. Yeah, because last week we had Carrie in the house, didn't we? We had. Uh, well, yes, we did. She was, yeah. she was laughing her head off. Yeah, that oh, was it. Paul was on panel. Yeah, that that was a. It's nice if I quite like it when I've got a few people on panel because it's kind of it gives it a bit more. I don't know, more entertaining maybe. I don't know. I'm getting better at teaching art though. It's not easy, is it, Diana? I mean, it's not. No, one mighty art says your um your art looks great. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yes, it's nice to have a painting. All right, if there's someone that wants to come up on panel. Yeah, more, uh, I thought so. Right. You want to join us on panel? Okay, no. just let me know in the chat. Mr. Jackson can come on if you want to. If that's all right with you, don't okay, you? I just threw it out there. Let's see. <laughs> all right, he's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> the Dark Lord of the Jaffa Cakes. <laughs> I'm not sure what these flowers are, Diana. I'll show you the picture. I don't know. Yeah. What I don't know what these flowers are. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're, I'm a flower expert. They're they're small. They almost look like buttercups, but they're not. Well, the picture that you mailed me did not look like a buttercup at all. It was a well, white flower. Well, this the thing is, I didn't want to make a mistake with a white flower because I've never done one. So I'll be using the same B, but I'm I'm just painting the, the flowers a bit more simpler because I really couldn't draw. Oh, you're adding more color to the flower? Yeah, yeah. I'm just I will do a white flower. That would be a fun one to do a white flower. Have you painted white flower? Uh I might have maybe a long time ago. I yeah. paint a white sheet, like like if it's on a still life, maybe a white sheet. Oh. That would have been a long time ago, too. Let's see, yeah. white. White. I might have painted some white flowers recently. I painted our, well, I can't quite remember. Probably some, maybe recently. I mean, maybe a while ago. Actually, I've had an idea. I've had an epiphany. I'm going to be painting. Uh, how about lilac? That would be nice. And I can use my salt for that one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, get, do that. Because they, they just look a bit too primitive, those flowers. I want something with a bit of, you know, what do they call and them? Purple and yellow are complementary colors, so the purple is going to make the yellow pop and the yellow is going to make the purple pop. That's, that's it. That's why I need to improve. I need to get better at that. Because that lemon, the lemon that I did a couple of uh, months back, when you recommended uh, me do the, the purple against the yellow, I mean, it's really simple yet very effective, isn't it? I mean, it really does give it a bit more uh, realism to the, uh, and the shadow, and the oh, shadow. Yeah, I was telling you to put the purple shadow in, right? Yeah, yeah, and I think that's, yeah, that's the shadow. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that is very um, effective. Yeah, and I think that's one of the best ones that I've done, mate. Like, yeah, that is, uh, yeah, that's a good painting. Yeah, I'm really happy with that one. I'm quite proud of that one. So we're going to do a light look. Um, so I'm just going to put my other picture to the side for now, and then I'm just going to hop on over to my safari on my map, and I'm just going to get a picture for me to... Oh, Pippi Dell says oh, that lemon is really pretty painting. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I like that one. That was actually a painting that I really, really liked. <laughs> okay, here's Ian. Oh, hello, Mr. Jackson. Hello, Ian. Hello. Hi, Ian. How are we all? <laughs> I'm just looking for lilacs. I'll be one second. <laughs> I just want you to look? set you straight on something. Um, the, the the bumblebee, right? Yeah. Yeah. As as most bees, mm -hmm. uh, it's a girl. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. I did not know the, the, that. There's only one or two males in a in a 
nest of bees and they only come out every so often oh you see i learn things there you go so, oh. they're all girls it's a bunch of girls right oh it's all the, girl, girl. the girls night in <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that's the, queen that. bee, the queen bee that's in the nest right yeah, yeah. and they're yeah. all female apart from the males uh, there's on, there's uh, the males are only produced when it's time for producing new queens. <laughs> new queens. So that the, the, they produce several males, and they produce several potential new queens. Right. And that's the only time you'll ever see male bees. Right. Oh, what a, what a community! So everybody else, they're all girls. Girls, little girls. <laughs> There you go. Bit of, <laughs> bit of, uh, bit of there for you. Well, how long do the males live? Uh, what we all them women around them about ten seconds. <laughs> um, uh, a few days, and that's it. They're dead. Reproduce. They're just they're just yeah. born to reproduce. Basically, oh, that's yeah. Unfair. Yeah. That is so unfair. But then again, that's what the queen is. That's all she's there for. Well, she's, yeah. born, she's born to reproduce. Oh, oh, that's so sad. And the colony itself, uh, they're just workers who go in and yeah, feed yeah. feed the queen. <laughs> yeah. It is a collective. Yeah. Collective. It's a bit like the Borg. <laughs> we are we are the Borg. Resistance is futile, especially yeah. if we sting you. But, and here's another update. Um, some some bees do sting, some bees don't. Ah, uh, I did wonder. And some bees look like bumblebees, but they're not. Yeah, yeah. And those that look like bumblebees, but are not. Yeah. Uh, they do sting. Oh, nice. But I don't they think actual like proper. They look like bumblebees, but they sting. Yeah, the, the normal bumblebees. Right, the actual bumblebees. Mm -hmm. I don't think they do because my friend used to have a trick. Uh, his his family's used to keep bees, uh, and he'd go up and go, "Oh look, I've I can grab this bumblebee, and it won't sting me." And he held it in his hand and let it go. Yeah. And all other kids stupidly went up and did it with the same bit, uh, same kind of looking bees. Uh, not being able to tell the difference between one type of bumblebee and another, and they ended up getting stung. I used to love doing that. Oh, man. It hurts when you get stung, though, doesn't it? I've only ever been stung by one animal. Oh, no, I tell a lie, I've been stung by two animals. Uh, I've been stung by a jelly blob. Ooh. Hidden in sand. It were hiding in sand. Mm. Mm, not good. And uh, I trod on it. Uh, and I've been stung by a wasp, which is not a bee. Uh, they are not nice. Wasps at certain times of year, they're just on a mission. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're just... Everybody. They hate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the wasps are on a mission to sting people. Yeah, well, are. it seems that way, doesn't it? They get very frustrated at certain times of year. <laughs> Towards the end of the life cycle, they start mm -hmm. getting really like nasty and aggressive. Mm -hmm. So, I hmm. well, if, no. it, 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 it's probably it, it thinks, well, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. I'm taking you with me, yeah. Damn. If you're going, I, I ended up in hospital you. having to uh, my arm uh, uh, when I, I got a stung on my finger, right? Yeah. Uh, my entire Ooh. arm went numb. I had to go to hospital to have it regurgitated or whatever. Ooh. That is gonna hurt. It were quite. It, it, it were more, well. It were, it were painful to start with, but by the time it had got to me end of my arm, it were more uh, a dull throbbing, and I was, I was more. Yeah. I was more concerned that. My body was slowly but surely like going numb. Ooh. And I thought, well, problem is with something like that mm -hmm. is uh, people who 
who, who were a bit allergic to um to stings and things like that the body can start reacting to things like that and and it overreacts and it yeah. then gives them like an animal shock. Shock. Mm. yeah so you've got to be very no. careful because no. your body can like overreact to it yeah but i can maybe get bitten by a snake or something uh a snake's got enough a snake's got it depends on what type of snake it is but a, most snakes that have venom that tend yeah. to have enough toxins in them to knock you out that's the whole point of it yeah although not not every snake has, i mean i think every snake has a as even the snakes that um suffocate you and grab you and like you know mm even they have venom in them but it's just that the toxic levels are very very low can you guys see the salt in that in that paint there it's just to represent some of the lilac flowers you know give them a there you go he's got, he's got she's got a little flower now should be all right flower, flower. <laughs> right let's um hey, are you? let's now I'm put that there oh hello mr gunagon Hello, Hello Mystic. Hello, Where are we? Mystic's in the house. Uh... She's the only one that I'm saying hello to out loud for the most part. Um, everybody else, uh, because I don't want to keep being disruptive, saying hello to everybody coming in the room. <laughs> so I will, just getting ready to drive home from work. Be careful. Yes, be careful. Yeah. How do we like this the A then, Mr. Jackson? It's it's ironic that you're doing a B actually. Is it? Yeah, because Chanelier's uh, oh. logo is a B. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The, well, I, I love them. Uh, the 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 uh, you have to get used to them like any paint, but. Yeah. Um, I've them down. I'm not. I see. I've watered them down. Uh, I have a. I have a. Yeah. The the best applied in very thin layers. Yeah. Sennelliers. Yeah. In, in glazers. Yeah. Uh, and built up glazers. That's why when you first look at your Sennelier painting, first layer, it don't look as inspiring as what oh. uh, other paints do. Oh. But once you've added a second layer to it, it starts to really glow in a way that no other paint does. Yeah. I'll be mm. back in just a second. Okay, okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. No Paul today. What? No Mr. Paul today? No. Oh. I guess he, he visited your stream earlier though. He did, yeah. That was very that was very good. Maybe he can't come to every live stream. Well, no, this, this is it. You know, you can't go to every single <laughs> it's just, you know. There are not enough hours in the day, really, either to uh, to go to everybody's streams. But I try not to go to too many. Um, but I I do go to quite a few. But as I say, I don't I don't try to go. Ten by people them. watching. Shout out to the ten people in the house. That look, there's not that many people in the chat, so I'm surprised there's there's a lot of people listening. Shout out, oh nine now. Oh, oh thank you for the eleven thumbs up. Let's try to get to twenty thumbs up. Yeah, then you get your, uh, your little finger puppets on. One Mighty R, I just want to tell you that Gaswina Pathu, she's an artist, a really good acrylic, um, realistic acrylic painter. And she does a lot of live streams herself, uh, lots of live streams of her starting a painting and work on, working on it for like 10, to 10 days to two weeks and showing every step of the process on a live stream of her painting, her realistic painting from beginning to end. And she does vote votes like Facebook votes where photo votes where her followers on Facebook they vote on what painting she will do next. Yep. And uh, Mystic Unigon, she's driving right now because she's leaving work and she draw she's driving right now and listening to us and and she uh, she does uh, abstract art and. Uh, well, some realistic art and also abstract art. Um, 
And then Christy Canvas Art was in here. She's not in here now. Uh, it, she, oh uh, yeah, she does. She's a big acrylic paint, uh, tutorial painting channel. Yeah, she is. Um, like once a week, uh, uh -huh. very step by step uh, acrylic, all different subject matters, always acrylic, very um step by step tutorials, live streams, and every Thursday actually, every Thursday at three at two p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, right. is can Chrissy Canvas Arts um art lot painting live streams and. Picky Dell, I don't know. Are you an artist? Do you do art? Are you an artist, Picky Dell? I can't find my little there. And then Ian Jackson is a, a big, I mean, watercolor, specializes in watercolor. And he's on, I do, he is on my channel on a guest artist live stream every, four to six, every Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. We call it Ian Friday. Uh, Watercolor painting, always doing watercolor painting, many different subjects. Hold, uh, Ian Friday, yes, that's it, Ian Friday. Oh man, I can't find my washi tape now. Oh. I had everything. Mm -hmm. I bet you have put it somewhere where I can't think where I put it. It's gone into that special, like, place where art equipment goes. <sighs> Uh, when you want it, yeah, exactly. um, when you don't, when you don't want it, it pops up. I know exactly. It always yeah. happens like that. It always happens. Mm. Ah, found it. It was on the oh, floor. <laughs> That's where most of my stuff is. Yeah. <laughs> on the floor somewhere. This is uh, this is Aldi's uh, wash um, oh. washi tape. Uh, oh yeah, controversial washi tape. Yeah. Yeah. I must not have been to Aldi's for a very long time period. <laughs> it was uh, it was Christmas and I've still got some and they did about yeah. five, they did about five rolls of the stuff so and it was relatively cheap so I thought why not you know give it a try. I usually use uh, proper masking tape but it's not proper washi tape unless it's come from Japan. Well that's true. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh me, look at me, oh, oh, she's a snob. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's got I think that's where it originates from. Washi tape originates in ja Japan, right? It yeah. does, yeah. It originates, yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what? Not too long ago, I actually looked up what that word means, washi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that means. I forgot now because of me Alzheimer's. <laughs> Now, what, are you using, what are you using the washi tape for? Well, to stop it from buckling because it, I mean, it doesn't buckle, but it's not buckling too much, is it, guys? No, it, I see. That would be too subtle of a thing to see. Oh, hello, Quesian Comic Art. Hello, Comic uh, Art. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. He, oh. does little, he does short little, like two minute. I mean, no, oh, no, not even two minutes. He does short, like. 30 second animations and animations mm. are very complicated. I mean, t are very complex process to produce. So it, like a two second or I mean a 10 second animation, of course, is going to maybe take hours. Right, Cuisine, mm. Comic Art? Are they um, uh, flash animations or am I well behind the times? <laughs> oh, Ian, so Ian's asking you a question, Cuisine, Cuisine Comic uh, Art. Is it S S SWF? Files. I wouldn't know. I used to do little bits of that occasionally, no. but it, it it took hours and hours and hours. Yeah, I can imagine that. I did a claymation once. I was gonna. I was trying to uh, do it for my students to show them, not for them to do it, but stop. It, you have to move the little create little clay creation one little one little fraction of and then take a picture take a picture take, and I, whatever it's, it was on my old youtube channel it turned out pretty good but it was it, it was kind of funny like it made it look like it was walking around upside down around a shoe box and upside down and around mm -hmm. it and then and and then i had funny music and the whole thing was it took for a long time to make and it was only like 30 sec 20 30 seconds long um what is it for an animation, 12 frames per second minimum to, to have a to have a consistent um, movement that's not jerky. 
And turn your paper mm. as you go, so you can make it comfortable for you. Uh, what, uh, Guijin, comic arts, uh, and drawn animation is the most I do, and I have done some 2D computer animation. There you go. Oh. Oh. There we go. That, that was funny last week when we were all on panel, wasn't it? That was a fun, the wall mm. that was funny. Mm. Yeah. That's looking cool. I'm actually liking a painting, Ian. So, there you go, so you should do. Enjoy your painting. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, uh... I know some people don't like just solely doing botanicals. But that, but that is one of my strengths, I think. I think I'm pretty good at the... At the is, there, is, there reason, is there a reason why you didn't do the background first? Well, I didn't know whether I was going to do one, to be quite truthful. What do you think? Do you think I should do a background? Well, with, with watercolours, you should always work from your background to your foreground. Yeah. I might put another another flower here. So there might be a bit of, like just a bit of yeah. I'll say for two more flowers, three flowers. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay, I can do because the eye likes odd numbers. Yeah, I can do like one coming up the top of there, going down there, and then another one maybe going off to the side, maybe. So it kind of gives it that kind of extra area of interest coming off the page. Yeah, going off the page. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, hundred and. 120 frames a second. He says that that's would be crazy. super, super high resolution. Mm. That's like ridiculous. Just for yeah, one second. 120 different splices. Wow. Per second. Well, and everyone's I got to have a. I, I don't know what that would be used for, other than really slow motion 4K. I don't know. I, I don't really know. Kevin came in with a joke. Kevin Helming. Hi, Kevin Helming. He came in with a joke. He said, nice B, and if you disagree, expect a stunning rebuttal. <laughs> a stinging rebuttal. stinging rebuttal. Yeah, that's more like oh, it. No, I that <laughs> a stunning rebuttal. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's a good joke, Kevin. If you ever want to laugh, Ian, come to Iron Dog. He's a, he is so funny. He has me in like tears. It's just it's terrible. Mm. And Even Kevin, morning, his morning live streams. Yeah, uh, it's six right. thirty. in the morning. All right, so, so the hundred and twenty frames per second is um, for like virtual models and animations like that, where where you've got fast moving things. So oh. you get smooth. So you get smooth movement. And not jerky movement. I don't know anything of that, that mm. kind of thing. I've done bit. I've done bits of animation, but uh, it, it it were more. Yeah, me too. Uh, uh, virtual reality, three dimensional. Oh, virtual reality. I did the claymation thing. That I only did that once, and that was enough. And then um, mm. and then I would show kids about animation with a flip book. And that way they could mm. see like every little thing, you move it a little and you move it a little and you move it a little. And then when you do it really fast, that's how it makes it move. So I- Hi, you know, by the way, Kevin. Books. Yeah, hello, Kevin. <laughs> Lilacs are really nice flowers, aren't they? Is it salt? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Aldi's regular table salt. So, well, yeah. I don't know. We great. It could be. It could be, it could be some other white. It could be. It could be some other white substance, but we'll never know. I agree. So. <laughs> I went there. No. Could we be, just want to go. It is salt because she's using special water technique that um you you sprinkle salt onto the wet watercolor, mm -hmm. and it's gonna when when you brush it off after it dries, it's gonna leave speckles. Oh. Um, 
I don't know if you can see the speckles. Can you see those speckles? Can you hold it up closer to the camera, maybe? Yeah. I've been attacked by Linux. <laughs> Good shape. Yeah, that's off. Mm. Is that, is a happy, oh, it's a she, isn't it? So she's a very happy bee right now because she's got some flowers there. It might be a male bee that's escaped. <laughs> Made a, bid I, for, made a bid for freedom or something like that. I thought, I'm free. Look at me. I can fly. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what? I, in next few weeks, weeks I'm, 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 de I'm dead in next few weeks because it's it's flying ant time. So. Oh. And oh dear me, we don't have to get flying ants all over. They go everywhere. Oh, yeah. Absolutely everywhere. We, uh, me and my folks, we had uh, a ton of bees in the garden over the weekend. When I was uh, planting and everything in the garden, there were tons of them, lots and lots of bees. I wonder what that's about. We got bees already. We got bees that were caught between our uh, storm door and our our storm door and our uh, our inside door, and two uh -huh. bees that were caught in there. And, and then my husband said, "The bees are already." This was this was like three weeks ago. The bees are out already because that meant that he had to quick cut down uh -huh. the giant weed trees before the before the, the other kind of bee build nests in the ground and he said he had to quick cut down these weed trees he didn't know bee season had already started he goes oh my god and so cut down the weed trees before they start building nests in the ground oh, uh, Qui Quijin asks uh is it called a drone a male bee uh no i don't think they are called a drone the the drones are the things that ones that just go out and do all the foraging and all that sort of stuff. That's why we call things drones. Drones, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're just yeah. the foragers. Yeah. Uh, the, the the males they only exist for a, a couple of weeks, and their only job is to um, get together with the new queens that come out of the nest every so often. And that's yeah. It. And they get together, make a colony, and then that's it. The queen's left oh, on yeah. her own because it dies. And then the colony dies off? No. Well, uh, it, it either stays on with the queen. It, uh, a queen can have uh, several generations of other queens. Uh, okay. Right? Uh... right, but they, they go off. They go off and colonise somewhere else. Uh, she can stay there as a queen while ever she's producing a colony. Wow. Now, now some aggressive types of bees will <laughs> attack. Will you know if they get a big a big enough colony, will attack that nest and take yeah, the nest yeah. over. Oh, wow. So, but um, yeah, wow. a bit of. A bit of uh, bee, uh, bee politics for you. A bit of bee politics, yeah. Did you hear the good yeah, of our walking encyclopedia? Yeah. It's a good job I know things, isn't it? Yeah. Be knowledgeable. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm training you dumplings one lesson at a time. Dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, Gracie, I like how you're filling up some of that space. I was saying, yeah, I'd like to see some of that space filled up. Thank you. And I'm just kind of just doing like kind of dabbing. Yeah, just random. I thought did but dibbly dabbling. Dibbly dabbling. Yeah. Dibbly dabbling. Yeah. I yeah, I like how that's about dibbly dabbling. Position. See, I could do yeah. flowers and insects. And it's it's very it's very graphic. Let's just say. What's the it, graphic? It, it, it has a very graphic feel to it at the moment. Can you tell me what the opposite of graphic is? Um, it, it's difficult because uh, graphic in itself is one thing and everything else is not graphic. All right. So what's the, de just, what's the definition of graphic? Uh, just... um, simplified form oh, okay. of drawing. Yeah. And I don't mean simplified in the sense of overly easy. I mean taking an object and, and making it look like what it is without it using too many uh brush strokes. Details, not too many, not too many. Details, yeah. 
Well, you know what a piece of graphics looks like. It's it's more like a silhouette, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And uh, 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 that is a graphic form. Although, uh, when it comes to comic books, that also is graphic, and that can be detailed. But that's that's comic book graphics. But graphics generally. The reason why they have graphics is so that people who manufacture um, logos and things like that, like sign writers, can easily produce that company's logo. Because mm -hmm. if, if we all went along and had a, I don't know, a face painting for his logo, it would take, you know, it take people hours and hours and hours and hours to produce a uh yeah. one logo whereas a, a simplified form helps you to uh produce things on a mass level so that's what graphics is oh one mighty art likes he like he loves making logos mm. yeah that's clever right. I, I'll, I, I don't mind making logos occasionally yeah I'm not the greatest of logo makers. I prefer somebody to come along to me and say, I want you to uh, take my logo and make a sign out of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what I like doing. I like that background there. I think that's giving it a bit of a... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's it. I need to put some stems in now. I can do that little thing. So... Yeah, I like that background. Yeah. Thank you. We're ready and few. What's your favourite colour then, Mr. Jackson? Do you have a favourite? Do you know what? I'm I'm not one of these people who actually likes uh, favourite colour. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you know, the end of day that uh, my favourite colour is is pure white, because do you know yeah. what? Pure white, you can split it into every other colour in the universe. Yeah, that's very yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And just as an alternative, just to show you that I've got a balance in my creative colour palette, <laughs> I, 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 I also like black because it, it has no sense. light whatsoever. Yeah. There you go. I can understand. Black, black and white, the only two colours you need in the universe. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. It's true, though. It's very, very true. <laughs> <laughs> Black and white, the only two colors you need. Oh, we can. Oh, uh, well, you like a light prism? You like to hang a prism in your window and, and see and see that all reflected, refracted, refracted yep. light colors. Yep. Yep. You could. Uh, so what all it is, all we've got really in in the universe is is light, pure pure light. Yes. That is refracted, which makes mm -hmm. all the colors, right? And. Uh, dense blackness of nothingness that has no light which creates tonal value yeah. ah, nice. from two yeah. things we get every color we see and all the other colors that we don't see and by the way we only see about a quarter of the so-called color spectrum so oh that's right yeah no you're right there you go can you imagine what we would see if we saw all of the color spectrum i think it would just blind us wouldn't it Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you like me to demonstrate with the Derwent Ink Test uh, pencil? Because I can fill in the little gaps with the blue. This is a Derwent Ink Test pencil. I could go around and fill these in blue because it could be the sky. Do you think that'd be a good idea? I don't know. No. Oh, Keep it simple. Know. Keep it simple. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think it's like. I don't know, just like the way it is you've, now. You've you've already you've yeah. already set out the yeah. feel okay. of the painting. Oh, but we, are you saying you're going to fill in all the rest of the white with a blue? Yeah, but I, no, you're right. I, I, I think I think yeah, if I, you somebody does want you to demonstrate, but can you demonstrate on a separate piece of paper? Oh, I can do that. No problem. I actually like a painting, guys. Yay. Do you know what? It really oh. annoys me. Uh, every time... Me, me, uh, 
it keeps popping back to you do anything and it pops back to uh, top chat and then um, i wonder why i can't see what people are saying it really annoys I, me that top chat too i i never see much difference between live chat or top chat oh, I mean, dude, you know you know that comment that you just made i didn't i didn't see it at all on my on my I chat that does happen yeah i don't know why it happens but it does I'm just doing a circle to so these are watercolor pencils, right? Uh well they're classified the, as water soluble. Sol the, the water soluble ink. Okay. But what when when the when they dry, uh the permanent. Now the, the, they won't re wet like a, a watercolor pencil would. Well, uh, unless you you can take it from the from the from the lead. Uh, because it's such a thick pencil. No, once 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 you wet it and let it dry, it should be completely, uh, completely dry. Oh right, okay, yeah. And uh, and it's such a thick pencil. It's really quite. It's quite hard to break, mm. isn't it? I think they have a three millimeter core. Three three point oh, three point six millimeter core. Oh. Mm. I did it is quite it is quite a, a hefty car that is a hefty car yeah. but they have to they have to be because the the a little bit brittle so you have, you have to yeah you have to be with, with, like with any watercolor based pencil you've got to apply the uh pencil in very light layers you, you don't you don't pencil on really thickly and hard you you, you put a, you put a light a, a light piece on it uh wet it and then do another and keep building up in layers like that yeah it, it can uh, be a bit, i mean i've seen some videos where artists just do what i'm doing now over the whole the whole you know painting and i'm just like well it's okay, but always make sure you do it on the side, because if if you do it if you do it like that, you're going to get some really mm. weird lines in here. So if you do it on the side, but you shouldn't really press on that. I mean, it, it should be a very light application. Every right. every layer a light application, and right. and build up. If if you press hard onto your paper, you're going to not only damage your paper. You, you'll find that when you go over it with a brush, there'll be bits that will not. Um, they'll 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 not dissolve. Yeah. And that's why people say, "Oh, well, they don't dissolve properly." Well, it's because you're not applying the um, the pencil properly. That's yeah. why. Do you think somebody would like to see watercolor pencils and crayons at one oh one one week, Ian? Do you think that maybe? Would... Maybe I, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna because somebody somebody it's one mighty R that wanted to see this demonstration of your uh, these these um water soluble pencils. And then you can uh, if you want to do like say you paint uh, pretend this is not blue, pretend this is brown, and you're painting an autumn leaf. And you want some of that uh, texture that you get on the leaf? You can also splatter gently. Mm. So you can oh, get yeah, uh, yeah uh, going online, uh, mighty R, <coughs> uh, and, and uh, uh, AliExpress and all that. I mean, I've recently bought some up from AliExpress, but you, uh, you know, you have, you have to just take you precautions with it. it they're okay everything that i ordered came it, it took it took several weeks though for it to come and by the time i uh got them i forgot what i ordered them for to be frank but um that i've got them and i use them in fact actually what are, some of my brushes are ones that i use on on the most regular occasions now so um, uh, yeah have I got another colour? Not with me. Hey, announcement for Friday. Oh, go on. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, have, have we lost... Um, have we lost Diane? No. 
I'm here. I thought she'd, I thought she'd gone quiet. Yeah, I went quiet. <laughs> All right. Well, show uh, an announcement for Friday. I'm not doing uh, watercolours on Friday. Oh, why? What are you going to do? I'm going to show you how to use charcoal. Oh, uh, you might think you might think, oh, that's boring. No, it's not. not. But I'm going to show you how to use charcoal uh, using it uh, as a wet medium. Oh, I used to use char charcoal with uh, a long time ago. I used to use charcoal with turpentine. And that's one way. I think that no, was, you don't, you don't, that was it, you, a long time ago, but I love using charcoal on its own because you can get such a mm, good blending. Mm. Um, I'm not going to use I'm not going to use turpentine. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to use. A long time ago, when I did the, that. The problem is with turpentine is it will leave uh, an extremely strong, yeah, lime mark, and uh, it'll be with water, but you'll. You'll you'll see what you can do with it. Oh, with water you can. Yeah. So that that basically, guys, is just to sum it up what we've done. We've used mm -hmm. wet, we've used wet on wet, which is what I've just you know been doing for the whole painting, where you add the water first and then you drop in your paint. That's wet on wet. Uh, dry wet on dry is where. You you don't wet the area first, and you go in with the directly with the paint um, and dry brushing. Uh, dry brushing is basically what it what it it says what it is. You you sort of do some stroking movements like feathers, fur, whiskers, uh, you know anything like that. Uh, cold press means it's got a bumpy texture on the paper. Um, Salt technique, really good um, technique you can use in watercolour. Um, I use table salt, but I think there's... Lindsay Wyrick uses um, kosher salt, doesn't she, Ian? I think. Yeah, um, well, she did a video that that looked at several different ones, but it, it doesn't really matter what salt you use. In fact, the bigger crystals are, are less absorbent you get less of an effect from the bigger ones. It's better to just put uh, granulated salt on it. And if you want, if you want a big, a big uh, surface area covered, put a big pile of salt on it. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's it, it's how the um, problem is with large crystals of salt. They take a lot more liquid to absorb them and, and suck in ah. so and unless you've applied lots of water and lots of paint you're not going to get an effect out like that out of it anyway true it's very very subtle mm -hmm. I, I don't i don't do an awful lot of it because there's easier ways to deal with that kind of um you know, granulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of detail on the wings, and I think I can cut this one down. Done. Done. Done what, about, what about your wings being slightly grey? Well, I did because they're kind of transparent, so I didn't know whether to put black around it, well, uh, whether to do it in grey. A, a, a bumblebee has rings of, r rings of black and yellow. Yeah, so I, so, think I can go in there with the black. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mystic Unigon's home now. She says, love it. Hello, Mystic. Thank you. I have, uh, one Mighty Art says, thanks for showing that technique. You're very welcome. The, the, the eagle has landed. Yeah. Oh, hello, Folk V Life. So please, like, hello, anybody, please, please hit the thumbs up. Please hit the thumbs up. Trying to get 20 thumbs up today. Mm. Um, uh, kind of probably not going to make it, but. Uh, put my phone. Well, I'll have to go back in later because I'm not uh, in that place. Where am I? Who is that? That's that one. That's better. That's a better question. Oh, I have. What do I know? <laughs> I'm just going to put up my little bumblebee picture yeah they're, they're kind of like uh, dragonflies they've got like markings on the wings 
Mm. It'll kind of. Uh, but then again, <laughs> just look at the context of your painting and the detail that you've got on it now, yeah. and ask yourself the question: mm -hmm. Does it actually need those veins in it? Well, part of me says I should put them in, and no, the I think so. I would say like um, um minimal, really yes, high. but not 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 a great deal. Well, this is it. I don't want to ruin it. That's the thing. Because if I start messing about now, I might end up. Uh, <laughs> I might end up, uh, you know, losing the. One, uh, one of one of the most important things about doing a painting is making sure that you you're not all over the place with uh, the level of detail. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Yeah. Uh, something in the background is more detailed than something that's directly in front of you. That, mm. that just it don't matter how good a painter you are. If you make that mistake, the painting will look stupid and silly. Yeah. Exactly. And yet people do it all the time because they're not thinking about um, see how far something is away from them. Yeah, and I like those little hairs. I think I got that quite defined. Mm. The yellow's slightly harder to see um, for some reason because it's a lighter colour, I suppose. Well, what I'd do, you know, where that yellow is, uh, uh, where the wings are, yeah. round it, I'd, 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 paint, I'd paint some yellow in the wing area, I'd paint some yellow in there and a bit of black, a, a light application of black on the black area where the wing is. Oh, okay. And then uh, over over that, I'd, I'd put like a very light blue. Because if, if you look at bees' wings, they're, they're actually like a funny blue colour. Yeah. Mm. Right, so... Like a, a grey blue, but transparent. So if I put maybe a yellow here. Yeah, just where that yellow bit is, right up to the top, top wing. I've got green in my yellow. That is so frustrating when you get a colour in. Oh, you should, you should make sure that you clean it out before you use it. You should, you should know with yellows that they get polluted dead easy. That's crazy. That's yeah. why you always work your lights first. Light first yeah. Oh, are you painting them light grey? Hmm? Are you painting them light grey? We're going in with yellow. Because it's transparent. It, it's oh, good to I have see. a bit of a yellow. You know, like a grey yellow. yellow. Yeah. And, and then once that's dried, she can go over it with a little bit of grey blue. Ah, so I get what you're saying this week. <laughs> and then the other bit at the back of it that it uh, is no. black, you put a little bit of dark grey in that. Yeah. And then it, it looks transparent then. Yeah, I get what you're saying there. Now, that's that bit of yellow, so shall I put a bit of black in here? Yeah. I yeah. would, I right now, I think that's too strong of a color. I would like mop that up and leave it like real subtle. Well, it has to be transparent a bit. Uh, uh, just take into account this is just the underpainting for it. Oh, when, 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 you go over, when you go over it, oh, you're going to yeah. go over it with a transparent gray, all of it. And that will give you the subtle idea that it's transparent. There you go. That's kind of, that's muted down a bit. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Writing art is a good idea. Wow, it's such a lovely yellow. Mm. But you're not gonna see in the wing area, you're not gonna see it's just like an underpainting. Mm -hmm. uh, to give you the idea that yeah, it is transparent. Let me see where is my ivory black. There is my ivory. Well, ju just just apply it very transparently because it's only you don't have to do it in any great detail because it's it's going to get covered over anyway. Right. So thinking think in terms of glazers. Yeah. 
And I don't know. Hi, Grace Girl Painting. Hello, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hello. Hello, hello. Let me see if I just dab my own. Now that's really watered down. I might need to go back in with a bit more of that, maybe. You can't really go over it yet until it's dry. So once it's dried, you, you then need to go over it with like a, 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 a like a, a grey blue, but a oh. very very transparent uh, wash over all of it. Right. So I will let that little wing dry. Oh, he's kind of cute. My little bee, he or she. Uh, this is my selenite. Um, whilst this one's waiting to dry, I'll pop them down here just to dry. This is my pro box in. If I can mm. open it, yeah. There's go a real on, use all your strength. Box. Go on, do it. Go, go, go. I've had Look these for ages and ages. I bought Look. these one mm. by one, uh, because mm. they were like really cheap for scenario well um, in uk they're around about uh six pound which would be about eight 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 nine dollars maybe yeah probably yeah. Like i don't know I, I don't know what the current uh, exchange rate is but I don't either. Um, so what i did was is i bought most of the primary colors one by one mm. and i and i would uh spend time with the one color each color and, and do a couple of paintings before, you know, see if I like the paint and then go mm -hmm. on to, you know, get more colours. So. And they have got some very nice, unique colours, uh, Sennelier. They have. Look, look how much she's uh, the, 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 the forest green is one of my all-time favourite colours. Oh, that's that one. Yeah. yeah. Forest green. Yeah, it's a nice yeah, green. Very, very adaptable colour. Mm, sap green, their sap green is quite nice. Mm. Is that a sap green? I think they do uh, 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 a lot. Uh, uh, as as far as it goes, green is probably their best colour. They do do good greens. Yeah, they do. Yeah. You'll they find do. you'll find with lots of companies that they have one colour that they're really really good at, and all the rest the average it. So that's why it's worth having a professional palette full yeah. of the best colours from different companies rather than just going, I'm going to just yeah. work with Sennelier yeah. or I'm going to work with Daniel Smith or whatever. Yeah, and, and that's why I bought these, these whole line to go with the, to go with the, uh, with the thingies. And, and they're really, mm -hmm. they are crazy town expensive, but... Um, I managed to get a few ones quite relatively inexpensive rather than it being too. Um, and I kind of bought them open stock most of the. I think all of this was open stock. And they, they do actually. Well, the, the, the tubes are only coming open stock anyway. That's what the yeah. point are, is for them. Yeah. Um, their yellows are nice. Um, Snellier ye yellows, they're really vibrant mm. too. They're quite a well, thick. You have to, what you have to do is get used to um the, they have an awful lot of gum arabic in them when you first get them so oh. what what i do is before i open the tube uh, i give them a good massaging right oh i didn't know that oh, so, that's a surprise uh this was my first ever windsor newton one after you told me about them uh and how much did this cost this was about um, Six pounds uh, for one tube is crazy. Uh, uh, um, Mighty Art, uh, I, I might be proven wrong, but I, I think they've got two tube sizes. One is 10 millilitres, which is larger than most normal ones, the 5 millilitre. They get stuck on. Uh, and they, they have a 21 millilitre tube. Really nice. That's. Um, uh, but I think in in the tubes, that's what, that's all they do. 
uh, a, ten, a 10 milliliter oh, and the 21 milliliter. This is, but they're not, watercolor paint tubes do not run as big as, they're not as big as acrylic no, paint. No, they're not. Don't, don't ever look at, I mean, a 21 milliliter tube will last you several years. Yeah, look at the whole oh, yeah. thing. Watercolor it will, yes. In watercolor, the, 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 it, it's mm -hmm. that it's that that saturated in paint, and that's why they're expensive per exactly. tube. Yeah, because uh, you, you don't you don't splash them on uh, like an acrylic or oil. The, uh, the the highly concentrated paint. And if you look at the difference, look, Senenier, Holbein, mm -hmm. and Newton. Um, so they're using with a lot of water. Yeah, uh, these ones in particular, yeah. 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 Mm, it, it's very rare that you would apply paint neat to mm. a, 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 a substrate. That's one of my favourite blues, Ian. Compose blue. That's a really mm. nice... Um, that's oh, yeah. almost like ceridium blue, isn't it? Kind of. It's, it, it might be a derivative of it. In yeah. real terms, there's only so many major colours in a watercolour set. That's why you don't want to be being conned uh, into buying all these different colours. Just go for the basics. Yeah, like uh, uh, that that people know about. Wash your tape. And, and then later on, if you want some subtle uh, derivative of that, then fair enough. Once you've got used to using the basics. Yeah, but well, this is it. Um, I mean, I'm not going to use my whole bind and my sennelier in every in every painting because some painting is going to be mm. uh, practice. So I got <laughs> these. I got these to do my practice pieces in, and, and they're not bad, Ian. They're not bad at all. Mm -hmm. um, What's that, Dale uh, Brown? Uh, oh, were they? They're Derwent. The Derwent. Derwent. Yeah, I quite right. like. I quite like Derwent. I'm, I'm probably quite, well they look like their student range that I've never oh seen. yeah it is it's their student phase it's not, right. it's not professional but this is just like my practice kind of you know just mm. you know that this paint sort of for playing about you know not for i mean uh um yeah gosh they are the the there's a lot more they're a lot more heavily pigmented uh mm. watercolor paints than even oil or or acrylic paint uh, me personally, I, I wouldn't advise anybody to go out and buy student level paints when there are available um, professional quality paints that are actually cheaper than the student paints. Mm -hmm. And we know what they are, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Uh, white, white Nights. And there are I several other companies. Those. I love I mean, white you, you could go out and, and, and buy a great big box of like 20 or 30 yeah, watercolours yeah. I'll just watch and, and pay 30, 40 pound uh, mm -hmm. for that. And uh, by by the time you spent that amount of money, you could have bought yourself a set of 20 yeah. decent professional. professional quality paints. And they're the only colours you'll ever need. Let me see. Uh, I do have some white knights somewhere. Oh, they've gone on a crafty adventure. Oh. Possibly. That's a shame. I can't see the white knights, but um, this is my whole buying one. This this is a Reeves palette, um, and this is from those tubes that I just showed you guys. And, and do you like these ones? These palettes or? They're quite nice, well, uh, um, I use them for uh, when I'm doing any kind of mixed media -y kind of stuff. Oh. Generally. Because they're only really cheap throwaway ones, aren't they? Well, yeah, this is it. I don't want to, you know. Well, you can get them from a pound shop. So. Yeah, I think it was about £2, maybe. Something. How dare you buy something for £2 when you can get it for a pound? How I dare know. you? I know. How do I know? <laughs> In saying that, I've got to. I've got to say, when I go into a pound shop and I pay a pound for an item, I think I'm being robbed. <laughs> yeah. It, no, right. Top top price. Are you telling me you're charging me top price for mm. this 
for this item, a pound per item. Yeah. It's great. Have you ever used this, Mr. Jackson? What's that? What is it? I can't Water see it. Medium. Um, watercolour varnish. No. I thought I might try it because it makes it kind of shiny. Um, see, yeah. I, I haven't used it yet. Oh, I hope. Okay, oh. my mighty art, one mighty art. He said he learned a lot today. Oh, thank you. Mm, yeah, there we go. I'm happy that people are, are, are people are learning. They're a very respectful uh, company, Dana Romney. I like their, I like mm. their products. Uh, it's unusual uh, un unless you're just having the um, the painting uh, not behind a frame. It's very unusual that you would varnish any watercolour and you would have to be incredibly careful how you uh, apply that because it might because it's a wet medium it may um uh re-wet the watercolour yeah. so that's why you could have you could spray it with Kamar varnish that would hold that that could uh, possibly that could possibly yeah. make it so it will not move for 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 me uh what i would do in real terms is uh, I, i'd probably use that in a, a spray gun ah oh that, that's an idea uh don't apply it with a brush because uh, uh, it'll 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 dra it'll drag your paint because i i you know with uh, being uh, a, a beginner at this sort of thing i i use uh, a brush and it wrecked it <laughs> i'm not going to do that again see you later vermont bye is that um, pretty okay bye bye bruce bye bruce thank you for popping in um, so, as regards varnishing it, I, I, I agree with Diane. I would personally uh, spray varnish it. That's a really good idea. I would uh, well, so, that's what I have to do with alcohol inks. Um, first, you, with, you spray varnish it with this Kamar varnish. I have to check whether it, it says watercolor on it because it, it says a variety of paints. And, you, and that fixes, that holds it. So then... If I want to spray, if I spray it with another kind of spray varnish on top of that, it's it's hold it's it is hold it well, it's holding it. it will not move when even when I spray another varnish on top. If I sprayed with a different kind of varnish, that could still make it move. It's the special Kamar varnish that yeah. makes it so it will not not move the ink. Well, I mean, there's 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 two or three types of varnishes that you could use. You could use an acrylic varnish. Or you could use uh, an enamel lacquer. Ah. Well, it, all I know is that my um, point is very important to spray it with Kamar varnish first to hold it before well, any other. That, kind of that's that's probably a, a a company name that most mm -hmm. people can't get hold of. So if you know what type of varnish it actually yeah. is, well, okay, that would be more helpful, because. Um, it's probably it's probably just an acrylic varnish anyway. More that texture that the sun. More than likely. Mm -hmm. I mean, more, most varnishes these days are acrylics. Uh, sometimes uh, for for things like metal work, you will get uh, enamel uh, enamel. Uh, actually, that's the best you can use. Um, uh, the type the clear lacquer that they use for spraying cars. And what you what you need to do is is um, you need to spray it in the sense of it being a long way away from the actual thing that you're spraying, and just let it slowly rest on it mm -hmm. as a first coat. Right. Once that's dried, then you can get a lot closer and do a second coat. But don't don't spray really close. Mm because that will then start agitating the paint. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, actually, I actually like the painting. Yeah. Woo! Oh, happy Woo. <laughs> have, you, have you painted over a little bit of the grey for the... I haven't yet. No, no. Did you like that? 
So on that foreground, on that foreground uh, wing, yeah, right. You, you can put a very light application of transparency blue. Transparency blue, like a grey blue, oh. because the wings are slightly they are the the dark, but you don't want to be putting black in it. You want to put like a a, a bluey grey. But don't just put blue in it because it, will, uh, it, 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 it needs to be neutralized a little bit to a grey. Yeah. Well, what well what neutralizes grey? Uh, what neutralizes blue? See. Orange. Orange. Oh. Yeah. Or yeah. Orange because that's between that's between yellow and color. red. So. Yeah. It's, I can never tell if that's a red or an orangey red because some it's red. It's probably red. an orangey. Well, just get a, a little bit of that orangey red and a little bit of that yellow next to it. Mix that together. That's your orange. And then add it to a blue. Right. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, go and then add it to some blue, that blue. And that will then neutralize it to a grey. Right. Oh, I get you. Okay. Right. Okay. Then, okay. then apply a, a a a very quick wash of that over your. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Over your wing. I get what you're saying. And that's it. Uh, 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 don't spend all day with it brushing it. Just get a big, one get big wash around it. Woof. Done and over. That's so it. Because if you if, if if you overwork it, it'll just like all blend in it. Just just one big swoosh. So am I? I'm doing this one first, or no? Do all of it at once. Right. Okay. One great big. Look at it as one big object. We're going in, guys. No, don't don't fluff with it. Just <laughs> get in there. Oh, I'm too scared to do it. That's it. That's it. Because the more the more you work it, the more it'll agitate it, and that'll ruin it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I'm just gonna get that little blob because I've got a little blob there that I didn't have before. You, you could have afforded it to be a little bit more darker, maybe, but that's I how you do a glaze. It. That's how you do a glaze. Ah, I see. I'm always learning. There you go, and it looks it looks like it's transparent through it now, doesn't it? Yeah. Or to some degree it does. See, I probably wouldn't have thought of doing that. Shall I do it to the other one as well? It's up to you. Yeah. But you've got you got to do the underpainting before that. Yeah, which is the yellow and the black. So uh -huh. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I think you should do the other wing. Well, the other wing, because it's far away, you may not see as much transparency. Mm -hmm. So you could do it just with a dark grey. All right, okay. Um, but the, the thing is, you've already set a precedent with the grey uh, on the wing in the foreground. So you don't want it any darker than that, no. or it'll look it'll look more forward than what the other wing is. True. So. That too dark. I don't want to go ruining it. That's a trouble. And that's okay. that's what you need to learn as regards uh, glazes and layering. Yeah, I need. And to that's do... what that, that's that's what makes a watercolor painter. That's so much better. I mean, that would have been better than just leaving it. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to yeah. put some antennas on it? Sorry? Are you going to put some antennas on it? Oh, that's uh, no. I don't, I don't know if that... Uh, oh, all, be, all bees have antennas. Yeah, I yeah, you're right. There is some, so yeah. yeah I've just lost. They only like little sticks that prod up. Yeah, that, um, yeah, that kind of, yeah. Uh, and it'll have a proboscis as well. Proboscis. Yeah. So I'll put yeah. here. Well, the thing is, at the end of the day, you're trying to keep it, if, you, if you're talking, doing it in a graphic kind of a way, you, you should just keep it simple and not bother. Wow. I'm just having a look at my... Um, I could just... 
Right. If you if you can't see it in your reference image, then don't put it in. So I can see it. It's just because it's it's it, it comes down like that, and then it just like that. Thought you were voguing, man. Come on, vogue. <laughs> yeah, I can right see them. They're just kind of. I can't tell what colour they are, but they they don't look black. Well, you set a precedent already with, with with the black outline and of other things. So just use yeah. black. Yeah. It's, it, it, just when that. you go with a particular theme within a painting, right? Stick yeah. with it. Yeah. The, there's plenty of things in your painting already that have black outlines. So just you, yeah. you know, for that, just use black outlines. It, yeah. it wouldn't look out of place. True, and and there's colour harmony there too, isn't there? Because you've, mm. you've you know. that's it. And as well, another thing with graphic form art is that mm. you keep your colours down to a minimum basic set of colours. This is it because you don't want to get too you don't want to get too many colours because that'll just look, uh, you know. I'm trying to think of a polite word to use. Uh, if you put loads of colours in a painting, it might look amateurish, perhaps. Am I right there? Or? Um, from what I've learned over the years from artists, uh, most uh, good quality artists use a very limited palette and they, and they create a palette within like a triangle. The, 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 uh, the, they get the main colours that they want to use, which are, uh, which they consider to be their primaries. Um, in those, in that zone, they stick within the triangle that makes those colours. And then they mix a whole bunch of variety of colours from those three. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's always from those three, and. Uh, it, if you go outside of those, uh, that triangle of colour, yeah. uh, it, it starts losing its colour consistency. Mm. Uh, you know, and it's it, 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 it's togetherness as, yeah. as a group of colours, and then yeah. then then you you start losing it. So it's always best to have control over your colours in in your. It's got colour harmony, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of That's what it's called. Yeah, I, I like forget. that. I like that wing. And then there's breaking the rules. Yeah, but that's okay for people who know how the rules go in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If 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 you break the rules, uh, and you're not used to uh, knowing where the, you know, what colours work with what colours. All you'll end up doing is making a mess. Exactly. Yeah. I can assure you. Well, I might have made I, I, some messes that I've actually sold. Well, that, I mean, that's because down I to... Never, well, I've never really uh, thought of um, uh, limiting myself to those three colors and mixing all from those three colors. I, I've not I've not worked that way. I might try working that way in the future. But I've it, been working that way. So I've been probably doing it a whole different way. And then again... Paintings anyway. It, then again, they might not have bought that painting off you for uh, the reason that it, it, it's got these colours in it. They might have bought it off you because they like the flow of the painting or, or, or know, some other just, reason yeah. why. The biggest compliment I ever get is people like my colours. Yeah, you do have So yeah. there's got to be at some point some colour control and harmony in your paintings. Aren't there? Yeah, the, I there must, must I be some it, conscious I, decision I, I that you make it. But now I could I could try more consciously to do it that way and see what happens. Yeah, but you you've got to then balance that with uh, spontaneity as well. You haven't got to be so like you know considered that. Oh yes, I know that this says this rule says that I've got to put that color next to that color. If you do that again, you're going to ruin your painting. 
because yeah. you're losing spontaneity. Which is what I, I, I uh, when I when I do anything, that's what I struggle with. But then again, some of these concepts and ideas are only valid within abstract expression. Yeah. You try you try applying that to more realistic forms of art and it looks absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Oh yeah, I tend towards abstract more than I do realism. You do, yeah. I'm just saying you're, you're a fairly abstract artist, aren't yep. you? Yep. A, a expressive abstraction. Yep, yep, yep. I consider you to be. Yes. And that works because at the end of the day there are little or no rules within that <laughs> boundary of artwork anyway. I guess. It's it's more about the expression of the brush stroke than it is. Or the expression than, of the color. Than, uh, yeah. But uh, I mean I I even someone like Jackson Pollock, right? Who did yeah. all those sweaty He's paintings. One of your favorite artists, right? Hmm? I remember you said it Jackson Pollock's one of your favorite art favorite artists. Yeah, I mean look at that. I mean uh, uh, on the surface it's a load of splats on a Literally, it's a load of splats. That's it. Right? Yes. But, but look deeper into that, and it's actually a heavily considered set of groups of colours that have been blended into one another at just the right level. Yeah. Just, uh, just take into account how easy it is to overwork a piece of art. That, that's exactly what I, yeah. It's the, easiest thing. it's the one thing that uh, amateur artists do almost every time they do a painting. Yeah. Well, they yeah. overwork it. Yeah. So just imagine how hard it is to actually... So what's your definition of overwork? <laughs> it, it depends. It, there is no one borderline. You know when you've overworked it, when it starts looking like you put too much brush stroke in it. Hmm. And that might be different in different parts of the painting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like if, if you put, if you, if you overworked the sky uh, and the foreground looks a bit wishy-washy. Yeah. The, the, the problem is, is if you... If if with um with with your sky, you set a precedent of how much you've worked it. That means that everything after that has got to be even more worked, and then you you're making a rod for your own back because everything after that one has got to be extra worked and even more extra work and even and and it becomes such a heavily worked piece of art that it, it, it's like a stodgy pudding rather than a nice light souffle oh. hi paul paul's here oh, oh. And then we have somebody new in here we have somebody new in here art exploring more he said art explore exploring more says this is really interesting oh, very good we, we we aim to entertain don't we and mm -hmm. paul says looking good gracie mm -hmm. Hello, Paul. Thank you very much. The graphic bumblebee. Yeah. Uh, should we name him Buzz? What do we think? No. We name Buzz. What Buzz. do we say about? What do we say? Mind you, it might be an escapee. It could be. <laughs> oh yeah. You oh. can name him Old Beer Buzzard. Old. Yeah. Old. Old <laughs> Bee. Old Bee. Old Bee Buzzard. There you buzzard. go. There old you go. Oh, oh, old buzzard bait's not here. Yeah, I christened the bee, sir. What's the old bee buzzard? Yeah, we need that to. Um, um. <laughs> there you go. I've just knighted him. There you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, too bad he's not here. Yeah. Oh, if I catch him on a live stream, I'm going to tell him. He he was in chat earlier, and he came to oh, my hey, chat. Uh, thank you for coming to my stream earlier, Paul. I appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to work, get down to getting some painting done because I've got nothing done today all day. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, we've we've gone just about two, three. I mean, two hours now. Mm -hmm. Wow! My goodness gracious me. 
Thank you for having me again, Diana. Yeah, thank you for being a guest artist. Oh, and I've got a little piece of painting this week. <laughs> So is, is is everybody interested in me doing uh, charcoal on Friday, or would they prefer me to do? Yeah, do, 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 do. In saying that, I, I am doing some experimentation with uh, putting washes of watercolour over the charcoal after it's dried. Nice. So we may get a little bit of watercolour action there. Yeah, might so. Goswina has Goswina says it was a bizarre live stream today. Bizarre live. Buzz, is it buzz? She, Africa, she buzz. used it. The word buzz. <laughs> buzz. <laughs> live stream. <laughs> oh no, no, no errands were hurt during the making of this say, video. No, no. no bees were hurt during the making of this episode. No Jaffa cakes were eaten either. Mm -hmm. And Paul says charcoal would be good. Yeah. yeah. For Friday. I, I love charcoal. Yeah. I just want to mix it up a bit. I mean, yeah. I know you guys are bored with me doing uh, watercolor. Yeah, you painted about any kind of subject on in watercolor on Friday that, that's almost possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So let's mix it up for a couple of weeks and do some do something different. Variety is the spice of life, that's what they say. How do we how do we like my new board, Ian? How do you like the new uh, the new board? I've got a new painting board and board? oh yeah, I think I've seen it, yeah. This was my desk broke. Oh. Um, so oh, I didn't want to throw this away, so I thought this no. would make the perfect uh painting board i mean mm. it's quite hard well it, uh, uh, if it's gonna if it's gonna fall my like, uh, top uh just salvage it get somebody to cut it down to the right size for you and yeah, yeah. use it as a drawing you, you don't throw things out on into uh oblivion no. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, maybe, maybe cut it like down to about there maybe a bit more, a bit more. Well, you know what you can actually do uh, is is uh, you, if you go on to Amazon, you can get a, a, a special metal uh, plate that you can fit on the underside of a piece of board, nice. and, and and that plate actually screws into a, um, a tripod head. Oh, you see, I didn't so you've got that. so you've got your own you've got your own portable tripod. Uh, mm -hmm. That you can do all your drawings on. That is very. Ah, uh, you're gonna have to tell me that again in Messenger, Ian, because I'm gonna forget all of that. Uh -huh. That sounds like an awesome idea. Mm. Yeah. Cool. All right then. Yeah. What are you? Are, are you gonna tell us what you're painting, or is it a is it a sort of surprise? Or? Did you have some? Did you have some trolls? Oh, great! On Gracie, Gracie, oh. when you had stroller. Your stream earlier, you had some trolls. It was a nightmare, wasn't it, Paul? Yesterday, I had trolls, and luckily, Bobby Bobby uh, was watching. Oh. He was lurking and saw them and took them right out. It, you know, it makes me so, I mean, I'm nervous as it is doing these things, but when you get people like that in your chat, it just it upsets the whole thing, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, no. I step away for five yeah. minutes to deal with day-to-day -day matters and yeah. what happens. Trolls come and have a party. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <sighs> it's very true. Oops. Uh, you oh, see, they don't. They don't come. They don't come to my dreams that often. But yesterday they did. Good painting no. people. Today <laughs> none. Today I had none. No. No. Did you? No. No. no say that yeah. not. Well, the floor yeah. around. While ever, while ever YouTube gives them license to be completely anonymous they'll they'll keep coming yeah, and keep do it. yeah absolutely How the, for, me, for me i, I don't I, mm -hmm. I think that people shouldn't be uh that they shouldn't be allowed to make any comments unless they're subscribed to you ah yeah that's yeah that would encourage a lot of, yeah that would encourage a lot of people subscribing i'd like that idea that's a good mm -hmm. yeah 
That's very. I wouldn't say I never thought that idea either. What do you think to the round paper, guys? I think it's quite quite cool. Mm. Oh, I've been on round mm. canvas, so I, I'm a fan. Yeah, I just drew around the cereal bowl, and uh, I, I've got about ten sheets of it now. So I will. Um, would you like to see a video of me making it in a, as a whole block? Because I know how to do that now. Block. Yeah, as a, a block of circular paper. I watched Lindsay's mm -hmm. tutorial. I know. I, no, it doesn't interest me because I would never do it. <laughs> well, that's too, much that's too much trouble. That's too much trouble. I know I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a mistake and mess it up. I, I, I concur with Diana for different reasons. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I wouldn't want one because I've already done one. <laughs> ah. Uh, I, I, I know I know how to I know how to make a, a block of watercolor paper. I did watch yours as well. Oh, yeah. I, I watched Ian's and then I watched Lindsay's. Um, mm. So yeah, she she's been on YouTube uh, fifteen years. Is it? 15 15 years. Oh, no, oh. YouTube YouTube is not fifteen years old. No. I, don't I, think think she's, I think she's been on about twelve. Fourteen years old. I was going to say, yeah, because... She's uh, been on about 12. Yeah, because YouTube hasn't been around. Yeah, 14 like this year, isn't it? years, I'm pretty sure. 14 Fe this year. Sometime in February is YouTube's birthday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> what were um, I doing? Oh, yeah, administrating all that silly, stupid uh, copper thing. That's not gone away yet. I, I, we all think it's all... Away into yeah, it sounds like it, it seems like it died down or they're not, whatever. Well, that's it. They're letting us get on with his life and then they'll okay, do an attack. Well, there's nothing for me to hide. I shouldn't be getting in any trouble, so. Mm, mm. <laughs> you, you, you'll be long gone anyway by that time because of all copyright strikes we've got you today. Right. Mm, <laughs> copyright strike? I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, it's about it's been two hours. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Right, have, have a pajama party on here or something? She, already, what? Gracie's in her pajamas. I'm in me. It, you, you'd have to put. You'd have to put my uh, <laughs> my thing up. That's what I'm wearing today. Woohoo! <laughs> am, am I up? No, no. Am I holding this up so that you can see what I'm wearing? No. Uh, Can't see me. No, you're not no, putting no. me on. Woohoo! Why you're wearing? You're wearing something. Woohoo! Oh, now I can see. Oh, the red shirt that says what? It says Barnsley Football Club. Hey, see, Gracie, no. Barnes with what? Barnsley Pub? Barnsley Pub? <laughs> Barnsley, Barnsley Football Club. Barnsley Football oh, Club. Country Club? Barnsley Country Club. Uh, yeah, leave it, at, leave it at that. Yeah. Barnsley Country Club. Uh. Oh, <laughs> You're almost there, Diana. Almost. Nearly. Football Club. Football Club. Are you sure you don't want me to uh, forward you to that um, uh, denser, that 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 denser certificate? <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I actually I sent them I, I sent them back an application form and they rejected me. <laughs> and they rejected. <laughs> they, reje they, they rejected you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sent my denser, uh, yeah, and, it was rejected. and they rejected me. <laughs> There's only a certain level of stupidity oh, that they yeah. will uh, accept. <laughs> oh, said, Paul, said, Paul said, put your, put your thing up. What are what? you talking about, Ian? He's wearing a Barnsley <laughs> club, the football club shirt. Yay! Uh, put Ian. your thing up. Uh, what are you talking about, Ian? The Barnsley <laughs> football club <laughs> Oh, oh, I'll have to stand up now, won't I? <laughs> no, no, hold on. Let me on. Can you see it now? I can, yeah. There you go. There you go. 
Barnsley Football Club. Barnsley Football Club. Since 1887. Look. Yes, look, look at that. 1887. Wow. That's how old my football club is. Yep, certainly is. Yeah. Yep. Barnsley. United. Barnsley Football so, Club. <laughs> FC. Yeah. And that is the local coat of arms. Yeah. And it, it, it has a glass blower, which is that guy there. Yeah. He's a glass blower. Because our local area used to be all about glass blowing. Glass ah. And it's got a miner. Yeah. Who mine coal. Yeah. But they're not around anymore. No. No, we've not got no pits anymore. And we've got some other, like a shield and a little griffin. Is that, uh, oh, right, okay. And uh, I think that's the Earl of Rockingham's griffin. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know what they are. I'd have to. I'd have to look them up. Mm -hmm. But there you go. A bit of coat of arms. Yeah, cool. Coat of arms. <laughs> and that was given a royal charter. That coat of arms. Yeah. Uh, in the early eighteen hundreds. Wow. By some royal person. Yes, you can have that coat of arms, Barnsley. He said. <laughs> oh, we're back. We're back to. Big All right. Big Time to close. Mm. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. All right. Live, 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 live long. And thank you, moderators. And thank you, uh, oh, everybody in the chat who, who visited. Thank you. And, uh, okay. Thank you for coming on panel. Uh, uh, thank you, um, Ian, for coming on panel. Oh, to, Paul, to you have to the spoil the party. The conversation was lacking. Uh, well, that's because you were quiet. You, you, you've gone all quiet on us. Yeah. Uh, she, she, she's I tired, of, that. She's tired herself out. She's I tired herself out after I over there. Well, all, 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 all that party twerking she was doing over say, there. I the twerking time. Yeah. No, I was trying to be... <laughs> I was trying to be more pleasant and, and not like uh, and get, in people's, get in people's way and everything. Oh, it's, it's, your, it's your video. You do what you want. Yeah, it's your, it's your, it's your channel, Diana. Yeah. I know what you mean, but yeah, uh, we know what you mean. Maybe, right? m maybe, maybe you don't have to have that music on all the time on your videos because <laughs> it, 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 it kind of like oh. were a little bit distracting, weren't it? But they were a party. What are you talking about you have, party? You have music. No, I'm yeah. sorry. My party has to have music. No, that's what I'm saying. It were a party, weren't it? It's not an, yeah, not yeah. A, yeah. Not an everyday thing. Yeah. Oh, and there's my little signature right there. Look, there's my little signature. <laughs> Just wait, Paul, till we take three points off them next time we play them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Well, stay safe, live long stay and prosper. Stay